Ever wondered how wolves communicate with each other in the vast wilderness? Welcome to the enigmatic world of wolves, where every howl, growl, and tail wag carries a deeper meaning. These majestic creatures are not the solitary predators they are often portrayed to be. Instead, they are social animals with intricate communication methods and a rich societal structure. Let's take a walk on the wild side and delve into the fascinating social structure of wolves. Each wolf pack is a complex social unit comparable to a human family. They care for each other, play together, and most importantly, they hunt together. At the helm of every pack is the alpha wolf. This wolf is not just the strongest or the most aggressive, but the one with the wisdom and charisma to lead the pack. But how do these wolves communicate within their pack? Communication among wolves is a blend of body language, vocalizations, and scent marking. Body language, the most visual form of communication, can convey everything from dominance to submission. A wagging tail, a lowered head, or a raised hackle can speak volumes about a wolf's state of mind. Vocalizations, on the other hand, are the wolf's long-distance communication tool. A howl can be heard up to 10 miles away, making it perfect for calling the pack together or warning off intruders. And then there's scent marking, the wolf's way of leaving messages for each other. By marking their territory with urine or feces, wolves can communicate everything from their reproductive status to a warning for other packs to stay away. So as we can see, the world of wolves is far from silent or solitary. Every movement, sound, and scent carries a message, weaving a complex web of communication in the wilderness. The Alpha is not just a leader, but an orchestrator, ensuring the harmony of the pack through this intricate dance of signals and cues. Indeed, wolves are not solitary creatures, but social animals with intricate communication methods. What makes wolves such efficient predators? If you've ever posed this question, prepare for a fascinating delve into the world of wolf hunting techniques. Wolves are not just hunters. They are strategists, team players, and endurance athletes. Their hunting prowess doesn't stem from brute force or speed, but from their ability to work together effectively as a pack. Each wolf plays a unique role in the hunt, be it a scout to locate the prey, a chaser to drive the prey into a trap, or a finisher to deliver the final blow. Their coordination is nothing short of a ballet, a dance of survival choreographed by nature itself. Their strategy involves targeting not the strongest, but the weakest, the old, or the sick among their prey. This choice might seem cruel to us, but it's a method that ensures the wolves expend the least energy for the maximum gain. It also helps maintain the balance in the ecosystem by preventing overpopulation and allowing the strongest and healthiest of the prey species to survive and reproduce. Endurance is another key weapon in the wolf's hunting arsenal. Unlike cheetahs, who rely on a short, explosive burst of speed to catch their prey, wolves can maintain a steady pace for hours on end. This tireless pursuit, often over long distances, eventually wears down their prey, making it easier for the pack to close in for the kill. The wolf's hunting techniques are not just about survival. They also play a crucial role in shaping the landscapes they inhabit. By controlling the population of herbivores like deer and elk, wolves indirectly influence the vegetation patterns, promoting biodiversity and the health of the ecosystem. It's a delicate balance, a dance of life and death, where the wolves, with their strategic hunting techniques, play the starring role. Their actions ripple through the ecosystem, influencing everything from the grass underfoot to the birds in the sky. Wolves with their strategic hunting techniques, play a crucial role in maintaining the health and balance of the ecosystems they inhabit. This is the intricate, often overlooked symphony of survival that unfolds in the wild every day. Are wolves as dangerous and ferocious as they're often portrayed in popular culture? This is a question that often rings in the minds of many. But let's set the record straight. Wolves, like any wild creature, are meant to be respected, not feared. They are often depicted as the villains in our stories, the characters lurking in the shadows ready to pounce. Yet, the reality couldn't be further from this. Rarely do wolves pose a threat to humans. In fact, you are more likely to be struck by lightning than be attacked by a wolf. Now let's debunk some common myths. One such myth is those kill for sport. This is far from the truth. 
Wolves are opportunistic hunters they kill to survive, not for amusement. They usually target the old, the sick, and the weak, thus playing a crucial role in keeping the ecosystem healthy and balanced. Another myth is that wolves are aggressive towards humans. Statistics show that human-wolf encounters are extremely rare. When they do occur, it's usually because the wolf feels threatened or cornered. Remember, these creatures are more afraid of us than we are of them. Regrettably, it's humans who pose the biggest threat to wolves. Habitat encroachment and hunting have pushed these magnificent creatures to the brink of extinction in many parts of the world. Wolves are not our enemies, but victims of misunderstanding and fear. They are part of our world's rich biodiversity and play a key role in maintaining the health of ecosystems. So the next time you hear a wolf howling in the distance, remember, they're not the monsters we've made them out to be. They're simply wild creatures living their lives just like us. Wolves are not the villains as often depicted, but are vital components of our ecosystems. Their survival is our survival. Let's strive to understand and protect them for the sake of our shared home, planet Earth. So, how can we ensure the survival and well-being of these magnificent creatures? The answer lies in the collective efforts of conservation. Wolves, like many other species, are heavily reliant on the sanctuaries provided by national parks and reserves. These designated regions offer a safe haven, away from the threats of urban development and the perils of human-wildlife conflict. But protection through isolation is not enough. We must also strive to foster a better understanding of these animals. Wolves are not the villains we often make them out to be. They play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Through education and public awareness, we can debunk the myths surrounding wolves, encouraging a harmonious coexistence between humans and these misunderstood creatures. Remember, conservation is not a solitary fight. It's a shared responsibility. The survival of wolves is in our hands. Let's foster understanding and respect for these remarkable creatures and ensure their continued existence in the wild.